Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the sixth and last news on 7th February newspaper front page dawn. Shahzad Maryam trade bars over the daily mail story. PMLN a spokesperson claims newspaper failed to support allegations against Shabazz in a UK court. Advisor says PMLN's claim to claim of victory in case against British newspaper premature. By Kalbe Ali, Islamabad advisor to the Prime Minister on Interior and Accountability Mirza Shahzad Akbar and Pakistan Muslim League Namaz PMLN spokesperson Maryam Arangse on Saturday are traded barbs accusing each other of giving false information to media. During her press conference at the National Press Club, uh, Ms. Aramse showed the pictures and data claiming that the story by David Rose published in the UK paper Daily Mail was based on false information provided to the um, scribe of the Mirza Shahzad Akbar. As she said, the story was published in 2019, whereas the corruption allegations against Shahbaz Sharif uh, pertained to the period between 2005 and 2009, when the former Punjab chief back, uh, uh, chief minister was in exile. The advisor to Imran Sahib on accountability has been appointed to tell lies and defame others, despite the fact that the uh, knew th that he was involved in obtaining kickbacks in the broadsheet case. She had she alleged the Pakistan Muslim League PMLN. A spokesperson said the story was a manipulation which was aimed to defame Shabazz Sharif and his family. The pilot could not even support his allegations in the United in the UK court, he added. Shahzad Akbar, on the other hand, mocked the PMLN for appealing, for spreading false information about the defamation uh, case against the Daily Mail. Addressing a press conference at the Press Information Department a few hours after Ms. Arangzeb spoke, the advisor said Shabazz Sharif has already hosted around 75% of the of the case as he had made a uh, tall claim that, uh, that he would file a defamation a suit against Daily Mail journalist David Rose, me and Prime Minister Imran Khan, but the case was filed against the newspaper and the journalist only. He also alleged the PMLN uh, president to file a defamation sued against him in London, adding that I will represent evidence. It seems the PMLM spokesperson Mariam Arangse was still operating the Ministry of Misinformation and Disinformation and giving incorrect and false information to media, Mr. Akbar said. Uh, he sent the PMLN's claim of achieving victory in the case against the Daily Mail was premature. There was only a meaning hearing to determine the parameters of the defamation case, Mr. Akbar said. Explaining the term meaning hearing, uh, the advisor said it was described as a perception taken by the reader after going through the article published in the paper.
The preliminary hearing on Friday was related to the case filed against the publisher of, of Daily Mail for a story that alleged that uh, Shabazz Sharif and his family had um, siphoned all UK's aid money. The PM's AD said, adding that after going through the newspaper article, it was acknowledged by the Honorable Judge that if the news story was not correct, the paper was liable for defaming Shabazz Sharif. He said the court had admitted the case and it would move towards uh, uh, trial from now on, adding that Daily Mail would be asked to provide evidence of whatever they had claimed in the article. <clears throat> Just as an example, the paper will be asked to provide Shabazz Sharif and his family were involved in a money laundering to which Daily Mail will probably refer to the remittances in the name of Manzoor um, Papadwala, Papadwala, etc. In their defense, he said. <clears throat> Mr. Akbar, however, said Miss, uh, <clears throat> Miss reporting was done by the PMLN with some sections of the media even giving the impression that Shabazz Sharif had won something. This was not accurate reporting, he said, adding that almost all reporters, except for one or two who were heavily influenced, had reported that it was only a meaning theory. And in the end, the formal request, if you have not yet, to please subscribe our channel and press the like and bell button to get the fresh from us. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time and goodbye.